Hey there guys and welcome to the next tutorial here on duct tape stuff. It has been a long time since I made videos here on the channel, but I am back and making videos again. I just decided to take a long break because, well, it's been about six years since I started the channel and I've been making videos nonstop since then, so I figured it was just time for a little bit of a break, but I, like I said, now I'm back. And uh, I thought I would uh, kind of cut down on some of the length of my videos a little bit by trying out a kind of filming the tutorial and then doing a narration like I'm doing now to see if I can cut down on some of the, the time to make it a little bit uh, faster and easier to kind of understand. So let's get started here on how to make a duct tape tie case. So the first thing we're going to do is cut out several strips of tape that are 15 inches long and we're going to be cutting out I would say probably maybe 20 or so strips. We're going to be applying them back and forth just like this until we have the entire length of the sheet to be 15 inches and the width of it is going to be 14 inches as you can see right here. Then we're going to fold the entire thing in half and give it a nice good crease and that's going to be pretty much the basis for our tie case. And as you can see the folded tie fits nicely right in there. We're going to be able to fit two ties on that side which I'll show you next. So now we're going to make a small strap that's going to go towards the top and you guys have seen me uh, use this uh, kind of process to make straps before. It's a really simple way of doing it. You just cut out two squares from either side of a normal strip of duct tape, remove them of course, flip the entire thing up and then fold back just the piece on, on the bottom here so that you have a nice kind of no sticky side in the middle but you have two ends which you can use to attach to whatever you're working on. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to apply it right to the top here and then we're going to use that as a strap to keep the tie from moving around on the top. And then make another one and just apply it right to the bottom. Now we're going to throw the first tie in there. This is exactly how you fold the tie, kind of right in half, and then you tuck it through the middle. And then the bottom of the tie actually goes underneath that second strap on the bottom. And of course you can put another one right next to it on that side. To add a little bit to the other side, I just made a smaller strap. I'm going to use that for a bow tie. I'm a huge fan of bow ties. Bow ties are very cool. I'm going to be sticking that over there, same way. And then I also put a little smaller one there for a tie bar, as you can see there. And you can also put a little pocket for cufflinks or something like that. But this uh, little strap can hold more than a few tie bars if you stick them all on there. So there you have it. So that's how to make a duct tape tie uh, case. It's really cool if you're going to, you know, traveling and want to keep all your stuff together. Um, to keep it closed, you can just put a little bit of a strap and Velcro around the outside. To prevent things from falling out the bottom and the top, you can also, of course, you know, put some straps to fold on the bottom and top as well as the side. So that's a cool tutorial. Hopefully I'll be making more videos pretty soon. So watch out for those and welcome back to the Duct Tape Stuff channel. Hope you guys have been waiting for it. Yes, and I'm back and making videos. Catch you next time.